If you love dogs and cats, and the occasional pig or duck, then why aren't you subscribed to my channel yet? This is Kobe, and he's a one-year-old golden retriever. Years ago, when I brought my dog to the vet, there was a sign that said, it's easy to spot an overweight dog, unless it's your own dog. After I became a pet professional, that statement could not be more true. No, Kobe is not an overweight dog. But here in North America, we have become so accustomed to viewing overweight dogs as healthy. It's so rare to see fit, lean dogs that many people accuse them of being malnourished. And this isn't true everywhere else in the world. Last year, I went to Italy, and it was absolutely shocking for me to see well-bred dogs that were all a healthy weight. Obesity leads to a wide variety of health concerns, shortened lifespans, and poor quality life. Even grooming can be exceptionally hard on an overweight pet. We as their humans make the choice of how much to feed our pets, and we can also choose what we feed them. It's important to recognize when it's time to start cutting back. Spaying and neutering your pet can also make them more susceptible to weight gain because the loss of hormones causes a decrease in metabolic rate. So it's very important to change their feeding plan after surgery. A common excuse I hear from clients is that their dog is overweight because it can't go for walks due to X, Y, and Z. So my response to that is, well, you can always decrease their food intake. That seems to be a surprising solution to the problem as they feel they're doing their pet a disservice by feeding them less. Please remember that the happiest of pets will always be the healthiest ones. And being proactive about your pet's weight just makes you a good pet owner. I sprayed this good boy down in blueberry bubblegum cologne, and he's all finished. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the kind Kobe.